that lamppost doesn't look very healthy. <laughs> God, imagine crashing into one of them things. Good morning everybody. 30 degrees today, but I'm getting used to the heat, which is good. Going over this massive bridge, which I always like looking at the side of. Reminds me of London a little bit. Good morning. Good morning. You okay? Yeah. Did you sleep? Did you sleep well? Yeah. yeah. Cameras up really early this morning. I haven't showed you the beds and where we're sleeping, but they're really comfortable. So much more comfortable than what I've got at home. I need a new mattress, guys. Kick me up the ass. I need to get one. We're in Sao Paulo city centre again because we're going to a Japanese restaurant. Instead of an all you can eat one, it's uh, you pay by the kilo. So you just choose what you want and then you pay for how heavy it is. This cheeky one has spilled biscuits all over the car. <laughs> and I'm not talking about camp. <laughs> okay, babe. Oh. 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 Um, the plates weigh 780, 780 grams. They don't charge you for that. But instead it's like a dollar or a equivalent of a pound per hundred gram. So that's a little, that's not a lot. But. 41 AI is mine was. 41 AI, so all this for about eight pounds. Hey, what's up gorgeous? When considering if you go to like a normal just a wasabi place in London, you'd get half of that for like double. Easy. It's not bad. And it's all fresh as well. It's so awesome. The dessert comes free as well. I have no idea what that is. I think it's like a dumpling that's like really sweet. But either way, I've tried a bit of everything. Yes. Are you feeling it? I could have just had the sushi. Yeah, when you got, when you started loading up with all like the the fried stuff, I was thinking, God, that might be a bit too much. Yeah, my bad. That's all that's left on my plate. That is just enough as well. That could, Worked it out, it's actually less than eight pound. It was like seven pound ninety, something like that. If you don't like sushi, it's a massive waste of money, but I do. So really good, really, really tasty. This place here is right at the back of one of the shops that's towards the front. It's like an Indian store, and this is where Luis Carlos, oh, Cam's dad's auntie, used to live back in the old Brazil times of Sao Paulo. It's a really nice place, and it's just like a courtyard. When I was a kid, I used to play in, uh, play football in places like this. I used to hit the wall, ball against the wall, and just drive the neighbours insane. I've always been a little shit, to be fair. Nothing will ever change either. Linda, ta bom. We're having a look down a couple of the streets of where Cam's mom used to work. So it's going to be nice to have a look to see what type of stores that are around here. Cam's tried to scare me twice with those little ba um, those little things that you throw on the floor and explode. Wow, look at this store. Melissa. Just, Melissa. This is where Cam got her black shoes from and we're going to get some of some shoes from here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Summer is loving shoe shopping. Absolutely loving it. Oi. Thinking about these ones. Really like the Disney ones, but... The mini, oh no, the Mickey Mouse ears just dig into her feet a little bit, which is a real shame. We are heading to where Luis Carlos used to live. Old house before he met Celia. No, he met my mum, he was still there. Okay, when, yeah. Do you know what? I never know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, my aunties got married there. Your auntie's got married there? Yeah, in that um, church. It's amazing. Oh, wow. There's some really nice buildings around here. Yeah. My dad's saying it's the like, most expensive residential area. In Brazil? In, the, in, Sao, in Sao Paulo? Wow. Did you hear that? It's the most, it's the most expensive oh, residential yeah. area yeah. to live in Sao Paulo. One million reais per yeah. year for council tax. Yeah. And the most apartment here. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, you get these salesmen as well mm. who just sell water at the side of the road. Currently it's 27 degrees. It's going to get warmer in Chavance as well. Get the sun cream out because they're going to need it. That house right there used to be Luis Carlos. This tree was already there. Was it really? Yeah. Wow, so it's the same. Yeah. So yeah, 223, this used to be Luis Carlos' house. 
That is crazy. Houses in Brazil are so much bigger than the UK. Over there, that is Cam's old sports club. That's where all of the Brazilian Olympic squad they go there to train so and everything. So uh, not only that, like you've got some um, professional Brazilian sportsmen as well, like the footballers. This is the first shopping mall in Sao Paulo. This is huge. This is just the entrance to the shopping mall. It is freaking huge. That thing there is a giant clock but it's like a uh, science experiment thing. It's freaking awesome. It tells you the hours on the left and it tells you the minutes on the right hand side. That's really clever. So this is where the posh people of Sao Paulo shop. You've got Chanel, you've got Gucci, uh, you got everything from like Louis Vuitton, everything. So uh, whatever you need, you will find it in this place. It is massive. This place is awesome. I'll be I want my bum changed. Ah. <laughs> Definitely. Tim's gonna go and see Santa today. But he's back at half seven. And it's like 22 7 now, so we've got like just under an hour. And she's loving it. <laughs> Summer's in line for Papa Noel. Wow. That's where Cam was baptized. Ooh. And now she's a devil. <laughs> Guess what guys, we are at New Dog, which is a hamburger place. Yes, I know, it's more food, but to be fair, that's the majority of what you can do in Sao Paulo. But <laughs> this sounds amazing. Let me show you what the food's like. New Dog, traditional burgers look amazing. So tasty. Oi Enrique. <laughs> that bomb. <laughs> Guarana as well. Yes. Come on. That's a special sauce. Special sauce. We the bomb. Wow. Happy? Yeah. <laughs> the hamburger tasted amazing. Ah, oh, so tired. Tomorrow we need to get summer's present tomorrow. And um, hopefully we'll be able to go into the centre of Sao Paulo. We really like it there. It's freaking awesome. Tomorrow we are going to be, I think, we're meeting up with Mansur and going down Paulista uh, Avenue. So I think that's what we're doing tomorrow. Getting her hair done. Yeah, Cam needs to get her hair done. Well, she doesn't need to get her hair done, but Cam is getting her hair done tomorrow. If ever you're near New Dog, go to it because you will not be disappointed. It's amazing. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment below if you want to shout out. Obviously, I can't shout you out while I'm in Brazil because this footage was shot months ago before it was uploaded. Don't know why I'm doing it this way, but it's just easy to upload. Hit the subscribe button for new videos, and I will see you next time. See you.